Amy Barnhart, preparing and sharing my final project for Harvard X SPU 27X Science and Cooking course. I've chosen to explore the fascinating technique of spirification in this, and actually inverse spirification. I'm going to attempt to make yogurt spheres. Here's all of my equipment and all the ingredients I need, and we'll get started. First, I'm going to make the alginate bath. I've got carefully measured 1,500 grams of distilled water and I'm going to be measuring out 7.5 grams of sodium alginate. Okay, I'm going to measure out 7.5 grams of sodium alginate. I'm going to zero out my scale. Carefully go up to 7.5 grams. There we go. actually did that for about two, a little over two minutes to get it dissolved. And there are some bubbles that formed on top. And what I'll do now is we'll cover that with plastic wrap and it'll go in the refrigerator. Um, the recipe that I found that I'm using today says anywhere from an hour to uh, 24 hours. Okay, and into the fridge. Okay, now I'm going to start the yogurt mix. I'm going to measure out 90 grams of heavy cream. Two hundred grams of yogurt. That's good there. Be adding this to the cream. Gonna stir that till it's completely mixed. Okay, I think that actually took longer than mixing the alginate. Here we go, and this is ready to start the spherification process. This was actually seven hours later, and this is out of the fridge now. I don't see really air bubbles except some little tiny ones at the top. And we will start trying to make the yogurt spheres. first attempt. And I'm going to leave that in for about two minutes. It's smaller than I wanted, so I'm going to go to a bigger spoon. Okay, I might go ahead and take this one out. It's 
been about a minute 30. We'll put that in water. We'll get that out here in a second and um, see what the consistency is like with the layer of gel and the inside. How cute is that? Okay, and I'm going to puncture. Oh, that's just about the way I want it. So about a minute and 30 is what I'll take them out at. Okay, that worked real well. I'm going to try putting a little bit bigger in there. Oops. Drop that from a little higher that time. Definitely got to work on my technique for getting something round, but not bad for a first attempt. Go with three because they can't touch or they will stick together. Now I've braved up and I'm doing like seven at a time. I decided I like the small size because it'd be neat to put the whole thing in your mouth. Okay, I made a second batch just like the first except I used Splenda instead of sugar. Um, the only difference I can see is that they float so I've had to spoon the alginate mixture over it. Um, but so far they look good. This is a sugar free. Oh nice. I maybe left it in there a little bit too long. There it is. All the ones with sugar and you can see those sunk and the sugar free and those float. And that completes my experiment and I would say a success.